now start in 10, 8, 7, 3, 4, 1, one. Now, zero. We blast off. <laughs> blast off. Blast off. Into space. Buzz lightning. Um, snuzz guy ear. Buzz lightning ear. To infinity and beyond. And his friend Buddy. Hey, Buddy, give me a buzz. I'm buzz. I'm buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'll start, I'll start the show now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens if I start it. And I am Luke. And we are here today on a beautiful Wednesday evening. Luke, my brother, how are you today? I am doing... How are you doing? I am doing as well. That is good. Yeah. So So doing... So being... So the definition of I am doing means you're just good. Yeah. I am I'm currently surviving uh, and thriving. Ah, I'm breathing and I'm inhaling and exhaling. That's like the minimum, and I'm very happy for you that you're able to do that. Yeah, success. Yeah. Great success. Great success. <laughs> oh boy, we already started. So, uh, yeah, so there is something that we did want to do this episode because we have not done a game show type of thing in a long time. So we wanted to try and play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Uh, and it consists of a whole bunch of different questions that fifth graders would learn in school and testing to see if we're smart or if we real dumb dumb. Fifth graders of nowadays or fifth graders from like 10 years ago? Uh, the article that I have pulled up is from 2020. So. Oh, boy. Uh, and there's also there's also a, a bunch of different types of questions. There's like first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. And then there, it breaks it down into like math, uh, English the arts, all that kind of stuff. Oh, boy. Well, I haven't been to school in a long time, so I'm not going to do very good. Well, you you, you know, you may, and ah! that's up for us to decide. Oh, boy. Here we go. Should be fun. It'll be fun. So uh, I'll get started on asking you some questions, if that is all right with you. Right. Hold up. Yeah, change, change the color of the room to be that's better. That's better. It's yellow. Very good. Very good. Uh, what was the first day of the twentieth century? Wait, first day of the twentieth century? Uh, yeah, the month, day, and year. The first day. Uh, of nineteen. The 20th nineteen. Well, twentieth century would be um. Wait. Yeah. It would be uh, uh, January 1st, 1900. That is incorrect. It was... No, because... It says clearly on here, January 1st, 1901. What? So I guess that the way they count it is it's not the... It's not the exact number change from 18 to 19. It counts that last year as part of the previous century. Or they mistyped it, but I I think there's a technicality in there. That's that's dumb. It should be when the changes. Hey man, <sighs> I don't make them rules. Whatever. Next, I'm already mad about this. <laughs> First question down. All right, and then wait, so wait, 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 wait. What site do you have up? Because then I could pull it up and ask you some. <laughs> Scarymommy.com. What? <laughs> that was. It was like. Result number two in Google. <laughs> um, all right, so the next question. Um, this is just an actual, like, mom site. Uh, it just gave me, like, tips on being a mom. Oh, that's, yeah, you probably don't want that. Uh, all right, da-da-da-da. That's, these are some hard math questions if you don't have a piece of paper. Um, I'm not doing math. Okay, no no math? No math. Okay. 
All right. All right, moving on to histor history, <laughs> history, and social studies questions. Uh, what are the two main languages spoken in South America? Wait, South America? Correct. Uh, that's Spanish and Portuguese because Spanish and Portuguese is Brazil. I know that. Ding, 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 correct. I know that because I'm Maya. Yeah, because she, she is. Yeah, she Brazil. She she very much is. Uh, what city in the world was the first to be attacked by an atomic bomb? Well, I know it's uh, Hiroshima is one of them. Well, that would be the right one. Not, and not yeah, Nagasaki's the other one. Yeah, Nagasaki was the second city to get bombed. Fat fat boy and little man or something like that. Correct. Double points. Or is it Fat Man and Fat, fat Boy and Little Man? I don't know. I think you had. I, it, I think you had it right. I think you did. Uh, cool babes. Uh, oh my, dude. The third grade questions are easier than the second grade questions. Really? Yeah. They like that. Like the first fireworks were invented in what country during the seventh century? Fireworks invented in the seventh century. Yeah, but what country were they in? Well, it's definitely not America. I can tell you that much. Yeah, no. Wouldn't it be... I have to imagine it's Europe. Would you like to state a specific country? In Europe? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot. There's like seventy something countries. Well, hey, in you said it was invented in Europe. You gotta choose a, a country, my guy. Who likes fireworks? Let's just go with the English because they're boring. <laughs> um, in the seventh century, England was not yet a country. Um, so oh, seventh. Oh, yeah, that was the keyword. Keyword. Um, so, do you have another another guess for what country it might be? No. It would be China. Oh, that makes sense. E. Chinese fireworks. E. That's not even Europe, dude. That's Asia. Well, hey, no, I I didn't say it wasn't Europe. I said it, it, yeah, but you said be specific about what country in Europe. Well, yeah, like, you, oh, I got it right. Yeah, you can't just say Europe. You have to guess a specific country. I'm like, he's. I mean, if that's in his mind, I'm gonna let him guess. <laughs> cool. Thanks for making me look extra dumb. Hey, you're welcome. That you're. You know something? Ever, you want you want to know something interesting? I'm never gonna need to know that information in my daily life. So. But it's help. But it's, it's helpful trivia, you know. Yeah, it's about if you wanna, who invented the fireworks that go boom, 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 boom. Uh, who wrote the national anthem of the United States of America? John Wilkes Booth. That is not correct. <laughs> I know it he's the one who killed Abraham not. Lincoln. Hey, at least you know that. Yep. yep. If yeah. there's one place I would take Abraham Lincoln, I'll take him to a play. For good reason. The play, mind blowing. So, so such a mastermind. Wait, so what are all these? I'm looking through some of the questions now. Why this? They all say. Wait. Oh, there's a little header. Okay, this makes more sense now. Sure. Yeah. So, so oh, there's a lot of questions. Do you have a guess for who wrote the national anthem? No. All right. The answer is Francis Scott Key. Never would have got any of those correct. That's that's totally Martha fair. Stewart. No, we don't we don't like her. Hey, can I ask you a couple of questions and bounce back? Sure. Give it to me. Well, let's do. Okay, take your list off so you can't read. Oh, okay. Go ahead. It's minimized. <laughs> <clears throat> what is the capital of New Hampshire? Mm. It's not Farmington, just so you know. I know it's not Farmington. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, that's a great question. Uh -huh. Um... I will have to say 
It is Dover. You want to know something really funny? What? You are incorrect! Well, I mean, that's what I figured. You, you want to know what's even funnier? Huh. This also conquered New Hampshire, and that's the capital. Are you serious? I thought, was, I thought the only big conquer, conquered city was Massachusetts because of the Revolutionary nope, War. The, uh, I'm pretty sure the ba uh, Battle of Concord. That is so ridiculous. I'm, I'm honestly quite mad at myself. Yeah, Concord was in Massachusetts. Yeah. That's because I'm like, yeah, there's only one famous Concord, but apparently I'm just stupid. Lexington and Concord. Exactly. All right, what's next? That's funny. That's a funny. <laughs> you, you got it right, but you didn't. I know. I know. I psyched myself out. All right. Well, this is all. Oh, I love the the um geography questions. That's sick. Um, what is this guy? That's a lot of ads. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's ads. That's it, all it? Okay, cool. Yeah, don't ask um, me any questions about ads. Yeah, no. AIDS though. I I do know I do know some trivia about AIDS. English questions, what the heck? Questions about the English? Hello, that give me a spot of tea. Hello. Sir, we cannot have dead pauses in in a. In a you audio can just podcast. cut all that. You can just cut all. I that. don't have that much time. Yes, you do. No, you I take don't. an extra day. That's what we're doing on a Wednesday. Well, you know, you're technically correct. It is a Wednesday night. All right. I don't like any question. You hit me with your all best right. shot. Okay, go. I was going to ask you. I'm just going to ask you this question. Mm. What causes tides? Um, it would be. The orbit of the moon around the Earth. Yeah, that was the first grade question. Good I, job. I did you're it. Smarter than you're smarter than a first grader. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, losers. <laughs> Suck it, five year olds. <laughs> I'm smarter um, than you. Okay, here's one that's a little bit interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, never mind. What is no wait? These questions are so boring. Like these aren't fun questions. They're just questions. Well, I mean, All yeah, right. they're meant for kids. Yeah, these poor kids. <laughs> All right, those are math questions. Why is it like all math questions? I'm skipping those. All right, okay, here's one. All right, you can cut it in now. All right, go. Name two. Name two of Columbus's three ships. Uh, the Nina Pinta and Santa Maria. I, okay, well, all right. Um, during World War One, the countries that sided against Germany were called. Against Germany. Yes. The Allied powers. Yep. Okay. Ooh, here we go. The modern day Istanbul was known by what name in the 13th century? Constantinople. All right. Um, who was the president of the Confederate States during the United States Civil War? Oh, I know this. Um, oh, I yeah, I can see him in my head. It's like something something Getty. No, it's a uh, oh uh, Robert E. Lee. No, president. Oh, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, I think they said president of the southern states, and I'm like, oh, that's yep. a, that's a hard. Yep. Who, yep. Who was the president of the Confederate States during the United States Civil War? Abraham Lincoln. Okay. I mean, technically, te but like, if you, <laughs> if you have a Confederate president, that would have been Robert E. Lee. Come on now. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's a trick question. <laughs> what do you call the part of the history story where the action where when we restart? <laughs> what do you call <laughs> I just got twisted with another one what do you call the part of a story with all the action or a big twist the climax oh, oh my gosh stop <laughs> you got it right big boy do, do you know do you know um, the point after that like right after the plot before it gets to the conclusion 
what comes after the plot uh and after the plot after the climax what either it's either called falling action or denouement interesting yeah very very interesting that's why movies kind of taper off near the end if it's kind of like oh we're kind of wrapping things up da, 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 and then you come mm -hmm. there eventually. all right i have another question one more for me okay which is the second book in the harry potter series uh, is that the Chamber of Secrets? Yay! Maya would be so proud of me. <laughs> yep. Which state is the Grand Canyon located in? Uh, Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I got the beer. <laughs> we eroded it. <laughs> All right, uh, switch back to me. I'll ask you some. How many years has the Earth been in existence? Well, that's a question. That w That can give you multiple answers based upon your religion. Either 8,000 to 15 billion, billion, million. Or unknown. Unknown. Inf infinite. Infinite years. Uh, okay. So. Uh, oh, th this one's, this one's tough. Who is the author of the 1960 novel about social and racial inequality to Kill a Mockingbird. I know the book To Kill a Mockingbird. I don't know who... Oh, it's... No, it's not... It's not Edgar Allan Poe. It's someone else. Yeah, it's not Edgar Allan Poe. He wrote poetry. Don't know. Uh, Harper Lee. Never would have got that. It's a tough one. I also, nev I ne I also never read that book, so... Mm-hmm another thing never read it i don't know how to kill a mockingbird but i sure do know how to skin a turkey <laughs> yeehaw <laughs> yeehaw i think i get a woo uh what type of species can live on both land and water amphibious correct that's what they call a dinosaur yay but like is it is it a dinosaur crocodile alligator they're dinosaurs don't they're add they're not even they're not even amphibians. I know the reptiles. I'm just saying crocodiles and alligators are dinosaurs. I mean if you really want to put it that way. No, they're dinosaurs. They're big and scary. They're dinosaurs. <laughs> okay. Okay, this question, if Maya listens to this podcast, she's gonna be like, This is not correct. Um, what continent is the country of Brazil part of? South America. Correct. Keyword: the continent of South yeah. America. Brazil's not the continent of South America. It's South America. Well, yeah, South America is the whole continent, a whole, and Brazil is the country inside of it. Whereas the United States is in North America, the continent of North America. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Some people would say there is only one continent. There is the American continent. No, you got you know Mexico. They're the odd ones out. They get Central America. They get their own spot. <laughs> it, it, so you guys can figure it out in that area. And what's super funny is that um, uh, Mexican schools they teach only five continents. Interesting: Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, America. Uh, I believe they count Australia and New Zealand as part of Oceania, which includes Antarctica. Hmm. So that would be the fifth. Interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. But, you know. Oh, ooh, this is interesting. Um, how many great lakes are there in the United States? And can you name them? I think they're all pretty great. They are pretty great. They're the great yeah, so lakes. like, you know, a couple hundred thousand... I'd say. The greatest of lakes. Yes. There's Hudson, Erie. Uh, not Hudson. Erie. Yep. I can give you some hints if you if you'd like. I'm gonna go with Uh, superior. Yep. 
uh, Michigan because it's Michigan. Correct. I know. Did I say Erie? Yeah. Ontario. Yes. That's all of them. And, and Huron. Uh, Michigan Huron is the same lake. Oh, okay. Well, this, this says five greatest lakes and it separated them. It says the Great Lakes from West to East, Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. They are a dominant part of the physical and cultural heritage of North America from EPA.gov. You Googled it? I thought, hey, were you not supposed to be cheating? I wasn't cheating. I was trying to find information. Oh, the, after you answered the question or before? Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. After. This is the worst. I hate this game. <laughs> this I had oh, to. Okay. All right, here we go. This is an easy question, just straight out there. How many countries are there in North America? Like countries in North America? Yes. The continent Two. of North America. Two. Is that your final guess? Yeah, there's the U.S. and Canada. That is not unless you Unless you consider, like, Nova Scotia and Quebec. Well, those are Canada. Yeah, Canada and America. No, not even close. Wait, North America? Yes, North America. How many countries? Yeah, how many countries? Do you mean like states? No, countries. <laughs> Territories? Individual sovereign countries with their own governments. In North America. In you have North America. America. And America and Canada. No, there's more countries than that. Russia. Oh my, oh my gosh. What what are the other countries? Um, it doesn't name all of them, but United States, Canada, Mexico, and all the sovereign states in the Caribbean and Central America. Such as the Yucatan, Cuba, Puerto Rico. Well not Puerto Rico. <sighs> they should they should be Rico. called they should they should be Oceania as well, because they're in the ocean. It's literally on the opposite side of the continents. Like Oceania. Well they have to on... deal with it's their fault for being surrounded by water, not ours. <laughs> Sorry, your landmass is like fifty square miles, deal with it. <laughs> You can spit from one side to the other. Imagine. Hey, I gotta go visit my brother. He's on the other end of the country. Oh, have a nice long drive. It's gonna take half an hour. <laughs> Thanks. Imagine. Uh, let me find one more question and then I can toss it away. See, that, that was like, that was mind blowing when Christine and I went to Antigua. Is that these people are trapped on this island and everybody knows everywhere and there's no one else around them so it's just like like two two quote unquote cities and then like roads and houses and that's literally it like the island is so small it's like oh yeah we're going on this side of the island today again right and everybody knows everyone oh yeah like it's you know it's even worse than a small town because a small town like you may not know everyone, but you're kind of familiar with, like, different families or whatever. But on an island like that, like, you know literally everybody. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, all right. One more question. Um, for me, at least. Uh, Earth is located in what galaxy? The Milky Way. Yay! That's my favorite candy bar. It, it is. And it's so yummy. The Milky Way Galaxy is the best because there's a nougat in the middle with no peanuts. Nougat. The Bex Galaxies taste the best. Mm. Mm. I'm a fan of the winner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's your turn, my, my bruh. All right, let's do some more questions. Are you smarter? Than a fifth grader. Bum, 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 bum. Doop, doop. Questions with Luke. The magic man himself. Oh, that's the wrong one. It says play now. I'm like, I can't. I don't know the answers. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking the questions. I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying anything else. Ooh. In the initials of the federal federal agency knows. Oh my gosh! Wow. 
my tongue is dumb. In the initials of the federal agency known as NASA, what does the first A stand for? Uh, it's is it aeronautics? How did you know? <laughs> I will have gone with Adderall. <laughs> Wait, a great Slipknot song. <laughs> oh, this is who I am. I drink and I know things. <laughs> um. The interior angles of a triangle always sum to what degree? 180? Nice. What is the name of the last queen of France? Uh, Marie Antoinette. Yes, you're smart. What's the capital of Connecticut? And no, it's not Hartford. It's... It is Hartford, though. It's Fartford. Oh. Fart. Yeah, everyone knows that. Hart fart. I love how this question is so stupid. <laughs> I hate that place. Well, so I mean, if we grew up in, like, Wyoming, we probably wouldn't know that. True. Because we grew up in Connecticut, of course we'd know. Yeah, Connecticut is like, wee, get me out, woo. <laughs> Super silly, so silly. Ooh, uh. All right. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from <sighs> where to the U.S.? Yep, that's correct. And it was originally copper colored. Like, yeah, like, but copper copper oxidizes. Correct, and it becomes green. I think it fully turned green in within the first ten years. Yeah, it was really quick. Like, there's hardly so you, any photographs of it being originally colored. Oh yeah, because like you gotta imagine like only a handful of people got to see it copper, and then it turned green. And everyone's like, "What the heck is this?" Yep. Like, imagine immigrating to the U.S. and people are just telling you, like, through letters and, like, oh, there's this wonderful copper statue that just glistens in the sun. And you arrive, it's like, the frick is this green thing? <laughs> the Incredible Hulk. No, it's She-Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who was the 16th president of the United States? Abraham Lincoln. Incorrect. It was Lincoln Abraham. Ooh, that's my favorite actor. Andrew Lincoln. <laughs> Um, I just did a a uh, American citizenship test with Maya, like a test, like a like a fake one, and it was all it was all like American government questions and stuff. So we got we talked about the amendments, we talked about presidents. I I think I named like not a ton of presidents. I think I got like thirty out of what we at fifty five. That's pretty dang good though. So if you show me pictures, I can name every single one. Yeah, and I told her, I'm like, Luke's really good at naming the presidents. Like, once once I hit, like, the mid to late 1800s, I didn't know, like, anyone. Yeah, if I had pictures, I can name them all. Off the top of my head, I might do, like, a brief, like, I have to read through them real quick for, like, a second to refresh my brain. Yeah, no, we... Because I used to, I used to look at that list at home all the time, but, like, I haven't seen that list in, like, five years, so... Right. Yeah, for, when we took the test, we didn't we didn't practice. We were just like, okay, let's try to name all the presidents that we can in order, and it was it was really yeah. hard. Uh, what is this question? Um, How many fingers do humans have? Four. After I'm done with them, nine. <laughs> oh, are you Gollum or something? <sighs> precious, my precious. Oh, which blood type is known as the universal recipient? Oh. Because Maya has me watching Grey's Anatomy. Oh, it's AB. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> that's a dumb question. Never mind. Grey's Anatomy has not served me well. All right, one more question. What river forms the border between India and Indiana? <laughs> wow. And Kentucky? It's a fake place. Fake? No, it's not. Is it Mississippi? A no, a fake place. What's the fake place? It doesn't exist. What? Ohio. The Ohio River? Yeah. Apparently oh. it goes through Indiana and Kentucky. That's weird. Okay. I found the last one. Okay. I found the last one. Okay, okay, okay. In what U.S. city do the... How do we say this? Okay. 
Allegheny and Monogahelly rivers meet and form the Ohio River. Oh, uh, that's Pittsburgh. Right in the middle. Hey! Yeah, it's the uh, Allegheny and then the... I don't even know how to spell it. Hold on. Maho- M-O-N-O-N-E. Maho- Ma- I'm just, I, just, I just typed in Mahogany River. Monhangahela. Monganahela? Monongahela. 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 This or that. Don't want to live life. Take another look at. Uh. Allegheny. Monongahela. Monongahela. I've lived here th- for three years and I don't know how to say that. Monongahela. That makes Mon- sense. Monongahela. Monongahela. I say Monogalia. We sound so... It's, st- like, we, it's one of those words where, like, if you say it enough times, it loses all meaning. Yeah. It's like Alagash or, like, a Gunquit or, um, uh, Kankamangus. Kank- yeah. Or, or Mansfield. Ma- Massachusetts. Yeah. Massachusetts in general. <laughs> Sometimes I, so, so, sometimes I just end up saying Trashachusetts, and it's okay. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Trash issues, of course, of course. Of course, of course. So how's it how's it been going? You uh, been playing any cool games recently or watching any movies or shows? Um we just finished Modern Family. So Wow, are you forty five? I I am actually. <laughs> it's it's actually a really, really good show. I'd encourage a lot of people to watch it. It's one of those shows that like it tiptoes the line be like being too offensive like mm. they kind of, they make fun of everybody they have that in common with simpsons or family guy where nothing is off the table like anything yeah. um and it's just like there's some like borderline stuff but because it's said by the right people it makes it even funnier and more wrong because it's fine yeah uh and then um yesterday or last night, rather, um, Maya said, I'm, we're going to watch a movie. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. <laughs> um, Chrissy, wake up. And so Maya's like, you can't look at the title. I'm like, can I, oh, get, no. can I, can I guess what it is? And, and she's like, well, you can, but you probably won't get it. I'm like, is this a movie I would watch? Like, I would choose to watch it. And she's like, oh, of course not. I'm like, uh-oh. Rom- rom-com. Can I guess, like, can you, can, I, can you give me a hint of what actors are in it so I can guess what movie it is? And she's like, if I give you the name of the actors, then you're going to guess what it is. I'm like, okay. Probably not, but also maybe. It was made in 2004. Maya says it's a classic that everybody should watch. With Adam Sandler? Um, so, I'll, oh, I'll, Kevin James. I'll have you, is it with Tom Hanks? Isn't it? No, no, no. I'll, I'll have you. I'll have you guess. So, what movie in 2004 that I would not choose to watch? It has Lindsay Lohan in it. Freaky Friday. That's what I guessed. I said that, but she's like, nope, not Freaky Friday. I don't know the movie she was in. Maybe Jail. <laughs> <laughs> Rehab um, not going so good. Oh wait, maybe it is. <laughs> But no, I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what. Oh, wait, I, I cut you off. I don't. I, I. I don't know. I don't know any of the movies that she was ever in. Uh, so the, the movie we watched was Mean Girls. Oh, Christine loves that movie. Yeah, like it's. There's a lot of iconic moments. There's some famous actresses in it. What's the other one? There's um. Amanda Siegfried. No, I'm saying the movies like gen- oh. genre, like uh, Pitch Perfect. I think is one where it's like that. Yeah, it's, they're not like rom coms. They're just like uh, teenage girl comedy movies. movies. Yeah, T- teenage comedy movies. And yeah. so and so, you know, it's not a bad movie. There was it was pretty funny, um, and you know, very like, you know, like oh, what happens if you try to fit into the Mean Girls club to infiltrate them, but then you become a mean girl yourself? Oh, the drama. Mm-hmm. Um, and so after that, I'm like, all right. Now that we're on the theme of teen movies, we're going to watch a movie from 2001. It was 
none other than Captain America, Chris Evans, very first movie he was ever in. Spy Kids. No. <laughs> no. No. Um, it's called. Hold on, let me see if I get the name right. I, keep, I don't even know what movie he was in. I keep mistyping. It's called Not Another Teen Movie. Oh, I've heard of that one. I, I saw it with one of one of my friends, Mike, and then I showed it to my uh, yesterday. It's a parody movie, so every trope, every funny joke that you've ever heard from that era of teen movies is this movie. Mm. Uh, it's, th- it's not a spoiler because it's like the main thing, but it's like, oh... The ugly girl in school. I bet you won't ask her out. Oh, but I will because she's ugly. And so, you know, that happens. And then it's like, we're going to make you beautiful. Takes off the glasses. Takes the hair out of the ponytail. Puts on a dress. (gasps) Oh, she's gorgeous. (laughs) She just, she was hiding underneath all that. It's like high school musical almost. Yeah, there is music in it. There is a musical part in it. But it's the most gross, raunchy, perverted humor you've ever seen in a movie. Like, there's nudity, there's creepy sex stuff, there's... Wow, uh, he's so young in it. Yeah, there's violence, but it's freaking hilarious. I would recommend that you guys watch it, um, but it is not for the faint of heart. Luke, you might be okay with a lot of the stuff but Christine will not be there's a lot of like stuff very that... cringy um yeah I would say so there, there's like a lot of like sexual jokes so maybe Christine will be a bit like weirded out by it and you might be too um I, you know I don't want to put anything past you but um you just got to be prepared like it's mm. you definitely have to watch it with like oh a couple one of the ca- one of the characters is from Grey's Anatomy so I think Christine will be fine Oh really? Who? Yeah, the main character, um, Chyla Ray, whoever who plays Janie Briggs. Oh really? Yeah, she's in Grace. Oh. Yeah, but she. Wow, must, all these, must, all the movies these people are in are so like the same genre. Yeah, she. she A movie must, that yeah. I heard was, where is it? That I heard was good was Joe Dirt. With I, yeah. David Spade and Christopher Walken. I haven't seen that, but I've heard that one's pretty good. Well, like on the same level of like you know stuff with like, um, like Super Troopers or Grown Ups and Cat mm-hmm. Shack level. Yeah. So, un- uh, unfortunately, the only place where you can watch not another teen movie is on Tubi. No, Pluto. T- Am- Pl- Pluto TV. Is that? It's an app you can just get for your your, your Roku TV. TV. Yeah, it does come with ads. There's gonna be like six or seven ad breaks while you watch it. But it's either that or you rent it for like four bucks. No. Uh, but I would recommend watching that one night. Get a couple of drinks in you. Get loose. Get funny. Get and freaky. Get freaky. Well, yeah. Um. So we watched that last night. And, um, you know, I, d- I don't want to... Okay, switching topics a little bit. Um, I don't want to talk too much about RuneScape, but I do have to give some updates. Um, let me open up this website. This is a website called wiseoldman.net, and it'll track oh, yeah. your progress. Um, so let me see if I can pull that up to show everyone. Uh, show the world gained in the last week okay so in the last week I have earned uh, 6300 farming XP 94 herb lore 525 wood cutting and now we get to the combat oh wait hold on why is that okay oh, okay that's much better wait 500,000 XP no, total. Oh, 500 XP. That's not a lot. Yeah. No. Yes. It's, That's it's, like seven trees. Those are my lowest ones. Um, <sighs> is this even correct? I, okay. Hold on, wait. No, 
Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Damn, here we go. Okay, so I went from level 54 ranged to 70. Whoa. I went from uh, level 65 strength to 75 strength. Jeez, you're really catching up to me because, you know, I don't play anymore and I just have a rune scimitar. <laughs> you're free to play. Yeah. Um, I went from 60 to 70 defense and uh, 60... Yeah, 60 attack to 70 attack. Jeez, yeah, you already caught up to me. So to total XP, that's... A couple hundred thousand. Two and a half million? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, with range, yeah. Oh, there's no way. Hold on. Okay, so range is 610k. Hit points is 700k. Strength is 844k. Defense is 450k. Attack, almost 300k. I don't know if that's quite right. I don't know why it's like that. Mm. Um. No, but any. But regardless, I I jumped basically 10 or 15 <sighs> levels for all my combat. You already. Jeez, you're already like what I am now. And that was since. Saturday evening. Somebody's having fun. But here's how I did it. It's not just me sitting at my computer being a grubby little cave troll clicking on stuff and running to the bank and everything. So there is an island called Fossil Island. There's a lot of really cool techniques and skilling opportunities on there. Um, one of which, for combat at least, is ammonite crabs. And so these are giant crabs. Oh, yeah, I know where the shells. crabs are. Yeah it's, yeah, it's literally just the crab area. So what I would do is um, the hostility timer for enemies resets every 10 or 15 minutes. So you have to run away and come back to reset that aggression. So you can kind of just sit there and AFK kill them. So what I would do at work is I would put my phone in the front of the van connected to power. I would have it sit at the front of my van so I can kind of see it. And whenever I saw on my screen that the enemies weren't automatically attacking me anymore, I would like run away and run back and it would take 20 seconds and I'd be good for oh the next 15 minutes. What the heck? That's so cheap, dude. It's, it's the training method. Otherwise I'm just sitting there clicking on goblins oh. or whatever for hours and that's poopy. Wow, that's such an easy method of doing it. So I went from Dragon Scimitar to Abyssal Bludgeon, Abyssal Whip, um... Zimaraki and Hasta, like all these like level seventy weapons, like that. See, I'm already at level seventy, so if I go members, it's instantly boom. Like, here you go. Here's all your cool stuff. Here you yeah. go. Have fun. The longest wow. one was definitely ranged. Like to get from what I say fifty four from fifty four to seventy ranged took two full work days, and I was just using darts. I was like throwing mithril darts, and I spent also I spent like ninety thousand. You're also not doing high damage with range stuff. Yeah, my max hit is an eight. Yeah. My max Whereas hit like a, with something else can be like seventeen. My max hit, uh, as of right now, with an abyssal bludgeon is twenty four. Jeez. Yeah. Also, well, also, I'm wearing um. There's a uh, an armor set called Berserker. And if you wear berserker, all, if, 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 if you wear all berserker armor, in, including a berserker necklace, it gives you minus attack, but plus ten percent damage. Mm. So, you know, you don't hit as often, but when you do, it's huge. Um, so I ha I do that right now. Much bigger of a punch. Yeah. So definitely. I have not. I'm gonna see when I open the RuneScape last. Watch it be like three weeks. No, I think it was one. I think I opened it last week. Hmm. Let's see. Rune. Yeah, so, so I I can see how much XP I gained in the last day, and I gained four hundred eighty four thousand strength XP today. Jeez. Yeah. Which uh which was equal to five levels. So I went from 70 to 75 strength today. Mm. Just literally sitting there, not doing anything. 
The downside is that where those crabs are, it's very crowded. So it's very rare that you'll find an open world where you can just sit in the spot. And a lot of times um, you'll have to like hop worlds for like 10 or 15 minutes to find an open one. And it's, it's kind of like a douchebag move. But if I see someone that's AFK and they're not attacking the crabs, they're just standing there. I'll run underneath them and take the crabs from them. Yeah. But they're not, you know, they're they're going to be standing there forever, so I might as well just do that. If they say to me, they're like, bro, I was AFK, stop it. And I'll, I'll leave, of course. I'm not going to purposefully steal them. But if they don't say anything and they just automatically log out, I'm staying there. I don't mind. I, you know, that's what you got to do. All right. Let's do a quick trivia question. <clears throat> sir how long ago was the last time i logged into old school i will say three weeks and am i over or under uh un uh over definitely over okay uh 10 days close 11 days. do up up a little okay up a little bit more 13 days there you go uh, 12 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. Oh, literally, literally right on the dot. <laughs> yep. That's so. Funny. Uh, literally, uh, t <coughs> two, what was it? What would that be? That would be Thursday of like two weeks ago or so? No. Yeah. At 8.38. Very cool. That's funny, exactly. Like it's like I know subconsciously that like yeah, this is when you log on. Yeah, it's at night in the evening before bed. I play for thirty minutes and I stop. <laughs> <laughs> if I went to um, the guy who tells you your age, like how long you've played RuneScape in game, oh, yeah. it would be really sad. But I automatically knock like four days off of that because it's literally just my guy sitting AFK for 20 minutes at a time sometimes when I'm like getting food or whatever or mm -hmm. it's like the last couple days where I'm at work and I just have the phone sitting there you know in the front overheating yeah, yeah not not doing like it's doing something but I'm not like actively paying attention to that does so, your phone also get very hot when you play on it not especially no mine no. did sometimes I think they fix it with some updates or running like running features they, of they must have because like I leave it in plugged in all day and it wasn't incredibly sunny today so there wasn't like sunlight shining on it but it was like normal you know on the inside your phone is just dying because it's like I'm being charged and I'm playing RuneScape and I'm, my GPS location's constantly moving what is happening <laughs> Burr. so you know that uh that chicken game that Maya played a lot chicky do. I was playing that chicken game a lot as well. I was getting kind of into it. I had a routine and different strategies I was doing. But but then I'm like, why am I playing the chicken game when I could just play RuneScape on my phone? Very true. If RuneScape is like a really good AFK game. Yeah, you gotta you gotta like focus on what you want to do. But it's a it's a good game to play AFK, and if you're sick. Yeah. Or if you want to just play for fun and do something that's really focused, like kill a certain type of hard monster or yeah or whatever there's there's always things you can do to pay attention to it yeah that's or like if you're questing or something like that right like in the mornings uh if i choose to play runescape in the mornings i'll just do one or two quests because i can't do it when i'm at work can't really do it Obviously. when i'm home with maya you know if if i ever hop on RuneScape for like 10 minutes when Maya's not looking. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do so much. Kale, what are you doing? I don't know. RuneScape. RuneScape. I'm being sweaty. I'm so sweaty. Get off that right now. Get off. What you doing? Have uh, Have you and Christine played any games together? Uh, not, not really. Um... We she found out that apparently with the new graphics card I had, Halo was having a lot of issues every time there's a new update mm -hmm. because the graphics card was set to 144 hertz, whereas my computer can handle 165. So it was like under processing the game. Oh, but it was okay. So it was only for Halo because none of the other games I play run at 165 hertz. So Halo was having all these issues, and I'm like, what the heck is this issue? Because I have zero issues with all the other games I play. Yeah. So Christine was, like, going through all the coding and whatnot and settings for everything while I'm trying to 
trying to get her Xbox working to play with Jacob a couple days ago, and where he was having issues with his Halo because Halo was a free game and they just gave it to everyone, so it has a billion issues. So hopefully Halo actually works really well now because it should. Did you test it once Christine stopped fiddling around? For like two minutes. Mm. But okay. it definitely works a lot better, so I'm hoping to hop on for a little bit if we're a, ga- a game tonight <clears throat> just to really test it out or tomorrow. Yeah, we might as well try to do that because Jacob said he was going to go to bed at like 9 and right now it's 8.40. Um, well, we can end the podcast in like 5-10 five, five minutes. Oh, okay. oh, little, little, little update. Yes. On mini bikes. Ooh. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, so with my bike that uh I bought for, well, I bought both bikes, but the bike that's mine, mm-hmm. um, it has a stage one kit, which is like an upgraded air filter. I don't know if it has an upgraded carburetor and it has a long exhaust pipe. And then the guy who bought it deleted these deleted this screw which prevents the throttle from going all the way and then he zip tied a spring to actually let it continue going faster okay so with christine's bike it was having an issue around 24 ish miles an hour where you would have it full throttle but it'll kind of like buck you a little bit a little like it was like trying to prevent you from doing something Mm -hmm. so i'm like okay that's got to be either something to do with the carburetor being dirty or it's that secondary spring that's stopping you from you know going full full speed so with christine's bike so with my bike my bike's top speed is like 37.8 miles an hour so let's just say 38 miles an hour and then christine's bike before i fixed it was 28 so i fixed it i oh by the way th- that bike is so much fun to work on because it's so easy to get the stuff so okay. i'm like you remember you saying you're like you can like take all of it apart put it back together oh. in like an hour it's so satisfying. I just took off like so many different components and it was like simple bolts and there's no rust or anything. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, so, and like, this is what it's like to own a car in Florida. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was taking off, I took off the, uh, the, the carburetor, which is like the fuel air system that shoots into the system, which actually makes the piston go boom and you go fast. Yeah. Um, so I took it off, unscrewed it and fuel just dumped out of it so I'm like oh shoot good thing I got a bowl right there so I swung the bowl right there got some gas on the floor but it's okay um installed the new carburetor like minty clean like super duper brand new like we got an extra one from the guy um and I took the little spring and zip tied I'm like okay this is this should be good took it for a little drive I'm like okay this is perfect it's running really well no hiccups or anything like that and I did my top speed run now Christine's bike goes 35 miles an hour instead of 28. Less dirty. For literally cleaning something and zip tying something. <laughs> <laughs> so her bike is like almost as fast as mine now with zero issues. So I'm like cruising on the street. I'm like, yeah, let's go. It's raining. I'm getting wet and stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, finally. You guys need to get... like race against each other. Like find like a track, not track, but like an outdoors area and just like race. Honestly, I want to find somewhere like that where they have like a track. But I got back, put the bike inside. I'm like, that smells ga- like gas down here. I think I might have left some on the floor from earlier. Christine's gas cap is nowhere to be seen. Oh, my god! It is somewhere. I did, like, five laps with my bike looking nonstop because it happened to my bike the other day because mm-hmm. I was testing it for something, and I lost mine, but I immediately found it. With her bike, her her gas cap is chrome. So I thought, like, oh, I can easily find it. It's a chrome gas cap. It must have bounced off, hit the road, and went to the bushes or something. So it's just gone. So you know what the fix is? Tin foil, chicken wire. To be fair, yes. <laughs> that's the red. That's the redneck way. Yes, sir. But I found I found online eBay a guy was selling two packs for ten dollars. Oh yeah. Um. So I just bought four gas caps in case that happens again. <laughs> So like Christy and I bought four, so we should be good for a while. <laughs> you gotta, so we'll like, see how you gotta it goes. keep the gas cap like on the bike somewhere and be like if it if it flies off again, you have one immediately. <laughs> Just in case. The thing is that the the, the screw on method is really poorly designed where the gas cap has sorry audio listeners, where it normally threads, instead of having threading, it has a thick gasket and two metal splines. So when you push it into the reservoir, like the gas tank, you push the spines through their holes to match them up. And then you only have like a maybe a quarter of an inch of it to actually turn 
So it doesn't like twist, 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 twist on. It goes like you push down, it goes and it stops. So if that jiggles and comes loose, it could whoop and pop right off. Okay. It's a. I'll have to show you sometime. I'll send you a picture or something. But it's a really, really bad design. Yeah, I kind of get the basic idea of what it is. Uh, it, it, yeah, it it could be done more simpler. Literally just like a screw for a car. Just. Yeah. I mean, it uh, works. It works for cars. Why not for tiny bikes? But... I don't know. I don't think they expect you to modify them. So they're like, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doubling the the speed on it, so it's a little bit more vibration now. <laughs> but I think that's the only so far with these bikes, that's the only like weird flaw, engineering flaw that I've noticed with them so far. But mm-hmm. they're fine. Yeah. But they're fun. I I I rode them around. Christine's like, "Why are you out there for so long?" I'm like, "I lost your gas cap, and I really can't find it." She's like, "Are you real? For real?" I'm like, "I, I looked for it like seven times." <laughs> like, I, I've been out there. <laughs> that's why I was out there in the rain. And she's like, "Yeah, I was wondering why you're still out there." I'm like, "Yep, that's why." <laughs> but they're fun. Yeah, well, at least you solved the problem, and you know, it's not it. It's not like a fatal thing where the bike is actually falling apart. Yeah, some yeah, something didn't come loose and break. It was just literally gas caps missing. We'll get them next week at some point, and then Christine's like, I really want to ride it. I'm like, technically, you could take the gas cap off mine and put it on your bike so you can ride your bike, but then I can't ride with you. Yeah, you can, it's like it's temporary. Like, if you really feel like you want to ride it. I could do the the aluminum foil, rubber band, or chicken wire method, like you said, but that's kind of, I don't know. I've, I don't been, know. I've been there. I, I forget. Yeah. Um, I think it was my Toyota Avalon I did that to. At one point, I can't remember. Briefly, it was either that. It was. I can't remember what what car it was. It might. I can see us doing with the golf cart, but I know we didn't do that. Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. All right, well, closing out the show. Um, just want to give a couple um notes for some episodes coming up. Um, I don't know if there will be an episode. Um, and I mean, you know, we do these every two weeks. I don't know if there's going to be one in two weeks because I believe Maya and I will be on our vacation at oh. that time. Um, so we might have to do like a week delay, like a week after that. Um, yeah. But, you know, obviously it'll be a big episode because we'll tell the stories of how the cruise was and the adventures I'll sit we back. Had. I'll sit back with a beer and just like kind of hang out and be like, you talk. Oh, well, hopefully I won't go too long because I want to hear what you have to say too because what if something interesting happened to you guys? You know? What yeah. If, what if there was a big, you know, thing that happened in your guys' life that was like, hey, guess what? Luke and Christine, we bought more bikes. <laughs> we bought another ones. one. <laughs> full-size <laughs> ones. <laughs> we bought a straight-up Harley. <laughs> or like a, a chicken coop. I don't know. Some or t- another house. Who? A uh, beach house. Mountain house. Can I live in the mountain house with you guys? Yeah, it'll be on the mountain. Oh, on the side of the mountain, like. Yep, just just like, boop, like horizontally off the mountain. Hey man, I'm looking forward to that. Yep. <laughs> it'll be a good time. So, Cost one mi- one million dollar. I will. I will give you a solid high five and a grilled cheese. Deal. Okay. Done. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. <laughs> no need to sign any papers. It'll be under our contract. Yeah, we'll just, it's just word of mouth. Be like, yeah, you're, you're <laughs> yeah, allowed to live it's, here. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just family. <laughs> if we're the family, I'm Don Toretto. <laughs> it's like family. We drink Corona. Oh. And, and drive fast cars. I drive a fast car. My car go boom. Or, hey, Dwayne. Or a really small motorbike. <laughs> A really small motorbike that goes pretty fast. Alright, Luke, close us out. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Okay now. Okay. Bye bye. Wait, Caleb. Do you smell bacon? Yeah.